Okay, we're back. And last time we learned how to read and uh, found out about our lead, J.F. Sebastian. We should go talk to him, but first let's uh, read. Get the weather report to dial Kazig Stobles on your Tabazin. <laughs> That's great, but we, we don't have a Tabazin. What? What? <laughs> those aren't words. Well, those are numbers for a Tabazin. Kazig Stobles. Yeah, let's just wait for that stupid barman to drop back down again. Come on. What if you talk to that guy that's sniffing his cup? No, uh, the I don't other think guy. I'll let you. But if I go down there, he'll pop, drop no, back. No, other guy, the green one. No! <laughs> Get out of the way, Woodruff. You need to get in his pocket. We don't need this for a while, but it's a lot more convenient to just get it now while we're here. <laughs> Would have won't react to most of the people in here, though. Oh, sorry to bother you, but you must be J.F. Sebastian, the famous literary critic. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Woodruff. Mm, nice to meet you, young man. You wish to talk to me? You know, it suddenly strikes me that Woodruff didn't introduce himself earlier because he didn't know who he was. That's fair. <laughs> I heard that you might have information about what happened at Professor Azimuth's. Yes, I saw a man dressed in black entering, and I even recognized the bigwig. The bigwig? Bigwig? Who is that character? He is the president's right hand, but his government is a masquerade. Government's a fraud, good to you know. You think then that the, the big wig kidnapped Azimuth? For what reason? Because Azimuth is a dissident who preaches subversive ideas. Dad's a rebel. <laughs> oh, yeah. About freeing the bazooks. He's in grave danger then. Oh, yes, no doubt about it. Since the big wig is also very interested in Azimuth's work on time. Yeah, that's it. I remember now. It all makes sense. I remember the tragic day Azimuth was taken away by the men of the bigwig. The same brute who ruthlessly shot my teddy bear later. Ah, the cruel monster. I'll have to find my daddy Azimuth and his schnibbel. And hey, we have an objective. Your arms are terrible. Also a thing. Yep. Doink. It's... The brush. Is it possible to miss that brush? Yeah, but you can get back to the screen. <laughs> There's only a few ways to lose in this game, and it isn't through inventory shenanigans for the most part. Yeah, so you can get back to the title screen. Well, that's nice. There's, if you picked up the brush, there's never any purpose in <laughs> going back there. Anyways, we have a stone A, and there was an A inscription a few screens back, so... Put stone A in slot A? Yeah, basically. Also, we got some coffee. Maybe that'll, uh, help out our drunkard friend. Also, let's let's get some tar. That just seems like it'll be useful later. And he can just keep it in his pocket. <laughs> Actually, he mysteriously spawns a box for it. <laughs> huh. Anyways, there you go, buddy. Coffee's supposed to sober people up, right? Wrong. <laughs> Uh. Ah, it feels much better. Thank you, little guy. As a token, please take this Meteozon watch. It will allow you to determine the precise position of the impact of meteorological disturbance. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm sure that'll be useful at some point. Oh, I drank to forget and it really worked. There's a big hole in my memory. And he doesn't remember anything of use for us right now, so... <laughs> let's continue back towards that A, shall we? Also, let's get this dude out of the way so I don't have to keep walking over that annoying river. <laughs> oh dear. Yep, we just killed that dude. 
<laughs> and we can read this billboard now. It is written, watch out for the roaming beast. It decimates everything standing in its path. Oh dear. I'm sure that won't amount to anything. Then, I'll have to draw Woodruff setting the A made of stone in the imprint, and then he gets a top bazaar. What's that? <laughs> Even the people making this game have no idea what the hell they're talking about. Anyways, now we have the Tabazan. Woodruff, welcome to Adult Hub. I'm Azimuth, your adoptive father. I don't know if I'm still alive now, but it, it doesn't matter. You must pursue my work. Be worthy of me and pine the schnibble. This Tabazan will help you to communicate with certain key points in the city. Go to the red light district. Someone will transmit a message to you from me. Of course, if you are stopped, I will deny having given you this mission. This tape will self-destruct in a few seconds. Oh, hey, we have a new uh, objective. <laughs> How do you manage to self-destruct the tape without self-destructing the... Tabazan? Science. Also, these are our numbers. Ka, Zig, Sto, Blaz, Drew, Gaz, Lurz, Poo, <laughs> Tibz, yeah, Knee, Bns, and Glap. As you might expect, this makes it really easy to remember phone numbers, so luckily this thing uh, keeps a running list for you. Let's see what the weather's like. Locally, some showers on the administration center, as well as a falling piece of meteorite, is foreseen on the big wind place. This was the latest weather report. The happiest weatherman. Yeah, he, he's pretty great. Litter of stuff, having idle animations. <laughs> we got things to do, man. Like, read that button. Yeah, we can use that now, but we're, we we got one more th we got another thing that we should probably do before we leave the area. Not that we can't get back, but you'll save me having to walk all the way back down here again later. <laughs> because now that we've done some things, that roadblock is gone. Okay. Dude, why did you kick it? Thank you, Woodruff, for finally taking that. <laughs> and while we're here, let's, uh, let's check out this place, because why not? Flowers! say he's the founder of the city, a great warrior who at the time exterminated most bazooks and enslaved the survivors. Yeah, humans are kind of assholes. <laughs> it is written, honoring our commander, founder of this city, who defeated the cruel bazooks. What's the green big sign say? Nothing important. Graffiti. is written, to the memory of our bazook brothers killed during the great battle. This tribute to missing bazooks is made of morphoplastic. It's cheap. The flowers are fake. <laughs> what about that pot? Not important. Hello, there's also a lot of things that are equally not important that the game will give names to. Like, for instance, I don't recall if we ever actually get to go in here or not, but for now it's completely pointless. And would have just walks up to it. <laughs> a 
burka must be a local delicacy. I would be afraid if burkers licked their own lips. Weirdly, Woodruff can read that sign before you learn how to read. <laughs> Maybe he's not reading it. Maybe he's just looking at it and seeing the picture. Also now, press here to use this elevator. <laughs> Dang, it only took a slight pressure to get this thing going. Anyways, here on the administration center. I seem to recall that there was gonna be rain here. So let's uh let's try out this thing. It's going to rain right there. Uh <gasps> yep. Tell me, Mr. Bureaucrat, who gives you your orders? Ah, oh dear, Bigwig. He runs this city with an iron fist. Just look at the latest tax reforms. It's heartless. Hmm. This guy seems to know a bit about the Bigwig. Maybe he can tell us more. A and where can we find this glorious person? Should be able to move about in the richer neighborhoods up in the city hills. That's where our rulers and the privileged few live. And how do we get to the heights of this city? Ah, to climb the social ladder in this city, one has to work. There are some jobs that the slave bazooks can't do, so there is always work for the humans. Try and you'll see. Well, I guess that gives us another objective. Get a job. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Bureaucrat. Yeah, I already heard that. What's with the snake? Where? Right there. Not important. Let's go get a burger. Eh. <laughs> Woodruff has no interest in that. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll go get some nuts. You already have a nut. Offering me a Bluckster nut? I smell a rat. What? That seems like it came out of order, but okay. He's offering me a Bluckster nut? I smell a rat. Hmm. And the tax on treading the soil. Did you pay it? There is no soil. It is written, fellow citizen. To enter the club, you have to be dressed decently. Hmm, I don't really think Woodruff counts as decently dressed. <laughs> so let's go somewhere else. Let's go to the, uh, the Brodo Flatrens Plaza. <laughs> What's a Brodo Flatron, you might ask? <laughs> I might, but I'm not going to. It's this thing. Doesn't that answer your question? Look at it. It's, it's a box. Completely obvious what it is. Also, how convenient. We just found out we need to get a job and, uh... <laughs> it is written, work at the Pushnerbel factory. Ugly surroundings and frantic pace guaranteed. To apply, dial... Drubzn... Puglap on your tabazin. Oh, that sounds like a winner. Let's call that number up. <laughs> Let's see... Drew... Bns, poo, clap. Hello, hard-working candidate. Ah. You are connected with the recruitment service of the Pashmurgal Factory. To establish your dossier for candidacy, I need a breathing certificate which you can procure at the administration center as well as a simple Brotofletrin ID photo. There you go. Brotofletrin is a camera. <laughs> Woodruff. <laughs> Why is he trying to commit suicide? Well, let's see if we can get that breathing certificate. I'm pretty sure we can breathe in this guy's face. <laughs> uh, hello, sir. C could you please give me a breathing certificate? But certainly, dear customer. However, we have to measure your pollution rate first. 
Bring me back a sample of your breath in an approved container. I think he's making a mockery of me with his UL approved container, and I'd show him what I think if I weren't against all forms of violence. I don't believe you, Woodruff. You just slapped that other dude right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and scared another guy into a river of acid to his death. Well, anyways, we uh, don't have an approved container, so... <laughs> Let's get a Brotoflatron picture then. This Brotoflatron requires a stroll. Oh, well, we don't I... have any of those either. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take this finger. Who? <laughs> hey, buddy, want to get rich quick? I've got a tip for you. Inside this store, there's a secret passage that leads to an illegal clandestine game room where the betting is heavy. Thanks, buddy. I guess. Anyways, we need that finger. According to my calculations, this wheel drives the fan out there. <laughs> Sabotaging is fun. Hmm? Aw. You upset the rat. You get the break. He looks so sad. And now the guy has hair in his face. Let's steal his finger. Yep. <laughs> That's so creepy. Can you talk to the rat? There's your answer. Can you get an umbrella? No. That's apparently in the exit zone. <laughs> hey, Bertie, can I get your attention? More? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, that's worth paying attention to. Hmm. Yeah, clearly this guy's not going to talk to us while he's uh, distracted, so... Uh... There we go. Hey, pal, how'd you end up here? Oh, we used to be a doorman at the High Morals Club, but I got fired due to indecency caused by a bear behind. I can't even fly anymore. Oh, oh but I am optimistic. The snibble will give me my feathers back, and I'll be able to go back. Rip. How? How will the schnibble What's give? This high Morals Club. Uh, what's it all about? Oh. No chance for you to get dressed like that. It's an organization that keeps a watchful eye on decency and high morals. Its daily task is to censor artistic works and behaviors, mainly because of those bazooks. Give back feathers. Well. Uh, I'd like to see that. If you find me some feathers, and if you finally enter this place, I will open up some private doors for you. Well, we did just censor some artistic work, so, uh... I think there'll be a shoe fit in. Anyways, here's how you get feathers back. <laughs> it's us. We are the schnibble. What if, where are you going? <laughs> What's this thing? It looks like it's in good shape. A little water would get it started. Well, we don't have any water, so let's, uh, let's dick around with this thing, shall we? Okay. Oh dear. That needs to be that way. That's the sound of Woodruff not knowing what to do with it, but let's, uh, let's shove a finger in it. Ew. It opens. I can go through. Ooh, it's very dark in here. And this is the illegal bedding room. <laughs> there are these guys who Woodruff won't interact the with. The contestants focus before the fight. 
I guess he will. The contestants focus before the fight. And over here we have the red light district. Now, what's supposed to happen is that Woodruff won't go in here. Supposed to? Yeah. <laughs> Stop that. Sometimes, though, this glitches out, much like that Bluxter note instant earlier, and he'll just walk in fine and let you skip the puzzle entirely. So, rather than show you his dialogue, I'm going to just deal with the puzzle. Just imagine him saying something like, Golly gee willikers, Beaver, I can't go into the red light district. <laughs> <laughs> what if a woman of low morals were to give me the eye? It's hard work, you know. We have to take stimulants. My adoptive father warned me against these harmful products. Go on, go on, try it, it's free. Oh, don't insist. Here, here, just a little pill, you'll feel energized. You're getting on my nerves now, that's enough. <laughs> Anyways, now that we've, uh, got that guy all worked up, let's uh, get a drink from this waiter who doesn't have to be right next to him. <laughs> and his stimulants. What? <laughs> you might make money if you bet on the red or the black. Amen. I would play. Well, we don't have any money, so. Anyways, now all uh, roided up, Woodruff will enter the red light district under normal circumstances. Roulette this is, is the red light district where so many young bazooks come and waste their meager resources to forget for a moment their miserable conditions. I might be able to get a few strolls and learn something. <laughs> that sly dog Azimuth must have hidden the schnibble in there. Roulette is now ruined for me. <laughs> You're always going to think of that guy, aren't you? Well, let's uh, talk to this lady. Hello, oh, madam. You must see a lot of people going through here, don't you? Hey! I recognize you! You're Woodruff, Azabus' adopted son. I bade you jump on my knees when you were younger. Bye! You've grown so much! Another one of Azabus' ideas. By the way, he gave me something to hand to you. Yep. Oh! You are so clumsy. You broke the stonefish. Damn it, Woodruff. <laughs> Incidentally, it's going to be a pretty good while before we get a replacement stonefish. <laughs> is it just me or do all the females have a lisp? As I say, she has like a wacky as hell voice, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> How come you knew Azimuth? W were you a friend of his? Oh, we bet at the Boozook Temple when he came to see the wise Ben or the king. I used to be the king's secretary. You can go see him. He will be delighted to know Azabah's son. Here's the throne rubes digicode. Zig, Stow, Drew, Blaz. Got that memorized? <laughs> Drig, Stow, Blue, Daz. Close enough. Tell me something about the Boozook wise men. I had to quit my job when the wise men lost their bebbery right after the big wig took power. Everything started to go wrong. The wise men forgot to come to the council. They even forgot parts of their power. The king, not able to use the council of his advisors, became less and less efficient. He could not pay B any more. Yeah, I'm sure we won't have anything to do with correcting that issue over the course of the game, will we? No, surely oh, not. I understand. And that's what prompted Azimuth's famous conference. Yes! Then, the king gave a speech full of hope to our people, where he claimed that the Schnibble would come to our rescue. But I think that this is not going to happen that soon, because Azimuth disappeared, and the Schnibble knows how harassed dissidents are here. I hope you'll find him very soon. 
Now, anyway, I didn't mention it earlier, but apparently uh, Dr. Asimov came up with the idea of aging. <laughs> uh. Let's check out this guy's car. At least I think that's a car. It's a vehicle. A vehicle blocks the passage. It must be the way out of the city. I don't know why you'd assume that. Let's mess around with this thing. It looks like fun. It's a pinball. Are you sure? No. I think we got time for one more game. Woodruff, man, seriously. <laughs> but it did drop something fairly important. We now have money. In a nicety, as this is literally the only stroll you can find, Woodruff will not spend his last stroll under any circumstances. There's only one thing you can use it on. A slot machine in the back. And if you only have one stroll, you are guaranteed to win. <laughs> giving you four strolls. If you don't have one, if you have more than one stroll, however, it's uh guaranteed to lose. Up to chance. Uh. <laughs> now we have seven strolls. <laughs> and just to show it off, let's go uh bet on the other guys. But they cheat. That graffiti said so. It's once again based with just random chance. <laughs> you might make money if you bet on the red or the black. Yeah, you gotta talk to this guy before we will walk up here, and you can't actually click on these until he's standing up here already. So, what do you, what, what's feeling lucky? Black. Alright, let's watch these guys have a struggle of ultimate showdown. In chess. That guy's totally blue. Let's try again. Anyways, there are some puzzles in this game which require money. A couple of them require a lot of money. But they remember how much money you've given them already, so you can, in theory, never use any of these betting things and just keep coming back when you're down to one stroll to get four strolls again. But that's annoying. So, we've actually made pretty decent pro progress already. I think I'm going to call it a night for this, uh set of recording, and spend some time getting enough money through blatant save abuse <laughs> to uh, not have to deal with coming back here again. Hooray. So next time we pick up, we should have plenty of strolls to throw at various things. But for now... Let's just save this as this. And we'll see you guys next time. Later. <laughs>